It was the fall of 1920, and Alliston native Frederick Banting had an idea that would impact the world forever. This idea would eventually lead to a pancreatic extract from an animal that would be the secret to prolonging the lives of diabetics worldwide who had been dying by the thousands, their bodies slowly starving to death. On a hot summer day in 1921, Banting and his assistant Charles Best were able to test this extract on diabetic dogs in their University of Toronto Research Laboratory. This test would impact the medical world forever. After successfully prolonging the life of one dog, Banting would test his magic serum on patient Leonard Thompson just one year later. Success was imminent, and word began to spread throughout the world. The frenzied quest for insulin was soon to follow. With 300 million diabetics suffering around the world today, this discovery remains monumental in its significance. Sir Frederick Banting was uh, my great uncle. You can say it differently by my father's father's brother. So we spent a lot of time up at the, uh, the homestead. And of course, I grew up in a family that uh, that was talked about a lot. And my father talked about uh, Great Uncle Fred a lot. Uh, there were a lot of family reunions, so we got to know exactly what went on here in Alliston uh, during the discovery period and, uh, and afterwards. Frederick Banting was born on November 14, 1891, in the front room of the 100-acre homestead just outside of town. Its exquisite natural beauty is remarkable to those who visit the site. And there are many who make the pilgrimage. The last person to live and work the farm was Fred's nephew, Edward Banting. Edward readily welcomed diabetics from all over the world, anxious to walk the property, breathe the country air, and to absorb what they believed was Fred's aura from the land. It's not uncommon for some of them to break down in tears from the sheer emotion of it all. In 1923, Banting was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his role in the discovery of insulin. A man of honor until the end, he split his prize with his assistant Charles Best. He also sold the patent for the life-saving serum for a mere dollar, forfeiting his personal opportunity to become a very rich man. Instead, his goal was to ensure the serum would be affordable and accessible to those who desperately needed it is the place where the lessons learned while he was growing up were the lead-in to the discovery of insulin. Uh, for example, there's a, a story about the, the, uh, a, a friend who, who uh, played with Fred and uh, she became diabetic. And so he saw that happening and uh, probably this was the seed for the things he did in the future. The influence of Frederick's formative years on the farm is undeniable. Working with cattle and pigs likely planted the initial seed of his idea very early in his life. This is where he would draw his idea from, realizing that pure insulin tissue could be extracted from the pancreas of embryonic cows. Money made on this farm by his family would support the work conducted at Banting's Toronto lab. He wasn't paid uh, by the University of Toronto. He had no salary, and he was broke. So the brothers and, and his father uh, helped pay uh, for the discovery work in Toronto. And uh, in fact, it was the, the farm that, that uh, made it so that money was available. The goal tonight is simple. Just by being here, you've already contributed to the restoration and future development of the homestead. By taking part in other fundraising initiatives throughout the night, your financial contributions will ensure this Canadian treasure will survive. I think the key to restoring the homestead is making sure that there's an opportunity to give back. Uh, it's a growing uh, problem in, in worldwide, and to, to us there's a need to, to address that issue, either through a camp for children with diabetes or a diabetes awareness center there. A lot of uh, people are very proud of the, of the role that uh, uh, Banting played and, and certainly proud of the fact that the homestead's within our, within our municipality in our area. New Tecumseh Mayor Mike McEachern has been one of several integral players in the purchase of the Banting homestead from the Ontario Historical Society Foundation.
at one point the, the town really got involved and said, you know, we really, we really need to take a hold of this project and we really need to move this forward because we really see our communities growing, it's becoming a little bit more urbanized. Um, here's an opportunity, right? Here's an opportunity for us to preserve something that's very important to our community. Your generous contributions tonight will be put to immediate use, supporting the cost of repair and renovations on the decaying buildings. Restoration work will also begin in an effort to maintain the homestead's original grandeur. The initial phase is really to bring it back to um, its original farm um, presence. Um, so that's the initial, really we've kept it simple. Uh, we've, we're saying we have a 100 acre farm here. Uh, the buildings are desperately in need of some repair work and some maintenance work. Let's bring it back to its, to its original form. Um, and then going forward, there's so many opportunities uh, to utilize it for a public purpose. And, and, and I think that's the underlying purpose. It's going to be a public purpose. It's going to be there forever, in my mind, in our town's mind. Tonight, we carve out a new chapter, a new commitment to our heritage. Tonight, we turn a page and celebrate the restoration of our past and ensure the survival of our future, not only locally, but worldwide. It's important that we recognize the site uh, for, for uh, the role it played in Banting's discoveries and, and I think you know people from the around the world will visit it at some point in time and can really be proud of uh, the site because it, really it's not going to be owner, you know I say the town's going to own it but I think really what we want is the town to own it, Ontario to own it, Canada to own it, internationally we want everybody to own it and be able to use it for some purpose right so that's, that's the ultimate goal.